Hey, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith, and today I want to talk about something that is just going to upset people to death, probably. I want to talk about why I love YouTube and why you should, too. <laughs> uh, some people are going to think that I'm being facetious. Some people are going to think that I'm being a shill, a sellout, and all that. Neither one is true. What's going on here with my computer? I see. That's sad. Neither one is true. I'm going to tell you the truth about why um, I love YouTube and why you should too. Uh, by the way, I just put up something over there. I should probably let you all know. Welcome to all the new people, and um, both on YouTube and on Patreon. I just put uh, one up over on Patreon about why Jocko Willink is wrong, why you shouldn't get up at 4.30 in the morning. So for those of you over on, uh, on Patreon, you'll, you'll be able to see that. I put up several things over there. Uh, I'm, I've made a decision to start putting more things on Patreon and uh, maybe some fewer things on YouTube. There's a, there's a variety of reasons for that. Won't get into it right now. Um, <clears throat> And, and to be honest, it has more to do with the audience than it does the the platform of, of YouTube. Um, so I put up something up just yesterday about uh, holiday safety and security. And pretty much every day I've started putting up some, some very famous sayings that, that really help uh, uh, you start your day and it's something that, that you should do. But let's get back to this um, YouTube. Have you ever gone to YouTube um, to learn how to do something? We, we just went to, to YouTube, Kelly and I, the other day to learn how to clean out the filters on our dishwashers. We got some high dollar fancy dishwasher. It's supposed to be the best in the whole stinking world. And our dishes were just coming out dirtier than they were going in. Got to the point where we were having to hand wash pretty much everything and it, it just it was irritating us so so she got on as she's kind of our plumber in the family I don't like plumbing um, and she got on and she she learned how to take that sucker apart and we got in there and took it apart and cleaned it out and, and all that uh, my son needed to replace his headlight on his car the other day so that either not simple like they were when I was his age so he went on YouTube and he found out how to how to do it have you ever done that i bet you've done that a uh, many many times okay youtube and like google which both are what people want to complain about are some of the greatest sources for information sharing there have ever been now right now some people have, have just jumped all up and down and can't stand the fact that I'm saying anything positive about these platforms. Um, but I would suggest you hold on. Now, m many of you are just listening and going, yeah, you know, I, I do learn a lot from YouTube. I learn a lot from Google. That's where that's my source when I want to know how to do something. Uh, learn how to do Christmas lights. You can learn it on YouTube. There's nothing. I can't imagine there's anything that somebody hasn't made a YouTube on. I'm all the time going on and checking those things. And because you're watching this, so are you. Now, why are you able to do that? Okay, let's, let's, let's think about this. But let's think about it fairly. And let's don't think about it through our, our uh, uh, bias goggles that we're all butthurt that they don't let us say some things on this platform. You see, I am able to, to reach, just like if you have a channel, if you don't, you know, I'm able to reach people all around the world 24 hours a day, you know, 24 7, 365, like they say, with my opinion or how to do something or whatever, at no expense to myself, no expense. It costs me nothing to get it out there. And if people like what I'm, I'm saying and if people subscribe and all that, guess what? I can actually make money doing it. I know there's nothing new, but I'm, I'm laying out the case. Okay, I'm presenting my case to the jury here. It costs me nothing except for my time. I could never reach these people myself. 
neither could any of these other channels. You know, you wouldn't have the millions of dollars to market it. I could never do it myself. And I would never make any money at it. Okay, And, and guess what? People making money on YouTube or Patreon or whatever, there's not a darn thing wrong with it. Most of the people who complain about that are people who, well, to be honest, aren't putting out a product that enough people want to watch or consume to, uh, to make it worthwhile for their ad advertising to be put on their channels. It, it, there's nothing wrong with that either, okay? I don't slam the people that don't want to monetize. I don't slam the people who have, uh, you know, uh, channels that are so small that they, they're, they can't ad uh, monetize. It doesn't matter. Everybody does things for their own reasons, and they should, they should be able to. You know, I read a, uh, uh, another, I sell my books. You know, the only reason that I started this channel was to have a place to talk about my books as a marketing aspect for my books. And since I'm doing that, and I know that it'll upset some people out there who don't have, you know, who just don't like this sort of thing, which is ridiculous, and you got to wonder why they're so upset about these things. Uh, here's my books. I started this channel when I had only written one. No, I guess I'd written several, but I don't remember. Doesn't matter. As a way to promote market my books. You know what marketing is? It's one of the basic foundational principles of capitalism. Do you know what capitalism, I know, you know I'm, I'm talking to the people who are going, what? You all know this. Capitalism is how we support ourselves as opposed to going to the government and saying, daddy, support me. You see, we're out here supporting ourselves. I wrote books to support myself. I put on a YouTube channel to to promote my books, in which there are many great lessons. People around the world, hunt tens, hundreds of thousands of people, have learned many lessons from my books. They wouldn't have, probably, if I hadn't put it on YouTube. I mean, I, they were selling really well anyway, so I don't know, but it gives me an opportunity to do that. You know, we have people say, well, it's freedom of speech, and they're censored, and everything like that, you know. Uh, and freedom of the press, and, and uh, well, let me, let, me, let me ask you this. You know, there's an old saying, was it, was it, was it Mencken, H.L. Mencken, who said, freedom of the press is for those who own the presses? <laughs> you, that's, you know, in one way, people say, well, that's unfair. Let me propose to you the idea that, that you might be getting a little bit close to a, you know, a, um, a situation you don't want to be, or a position you don't want to be identified with. Okay, so freedom of the press, what does that mean? Uh, d d does that mean that the New York Times can print pretty much anything that it wants to? Yes, it does. Because our founders felt that a, a well, they felt that an informed populace was important, but the only way to do that, they felt, was an unfettered press. Now, you know, did they foresee the kind of press we have now? You know, who knows? They were smart guys, maybe they did. But, but it does mean that the government can't stop, you know, uh, the press. They, they, they cannot unduly limit freedom of speech. Now, freedom of, the pre freedom of speech means that the New York Times or Fox News or CNN or anybody else um, can pretty much say whatever they want to, that political speech is protected, right? But does that mean that you or I can, can go into uh, the New York Times and say, I want you to print my opinion. You have to print my opinion. I've sent you a letter. Does mean we can send them a letter and say, I want you to put this in your paper, and then if they don't, we can jump up and down about censorship? No, you see, they, they have, they have a, a business that they have built, and it costs millions and billions of dollars. I don't agree with the New York Times, <clears throat> much like I don't agree with other some other things. But it's their business, you see. This is central to our way of life. That a business should be able to do what it wants. It sets certain rules. I, I got a warning. I, I got a strike one time on something, and I appealed it, and they reviewed it, and they took it off. Okay? And I know, I understand people you know, saying, well, this is unfair, and this person got a strike, and this person got removed, and all. Yeah, I, I, I get all that, but I want these to throw this out.
consider that you're playing on somebody else's field, okay? And th it's their rules. They set out the rules. Now, you can say that the rules are unfair or they don't go by their own. I, okay, I, I, I get all that, but here, here's the thing. I used to run a gym, okay? In my gym, we had, we had aerobics classes someplace. You know, we had a certain area, we had aerobics, and then we had weights, and we had, you know, different things in different parts. What I allow, so when somebody joined my gym, I didn't allow somebody to come in and run laps in the middle of the aerobics class. Well, why not? Freedom. I joined your gym. I'm a member. You shouldn't be able to stop me. No, 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 no. See, that's disruptive to, to the rest of the class. Okay, uh, if you're up in the weight room and you're singing at the top of your lungs some song that you particularly like and it's bothering other people, hey, you're going to have to stop that. What do you mean? This is America. I've actually had people say, this is America. I can just freedom of speech. It has nothing to do with that. Nothing. And you're victimizing yourself by not understanding that. Okay. Don't do that. This, use the platform for everything you can. Are there a lot of things that I, you know, believe or would like to say that I am restricted from? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Sh sh should I allow that? Should I put myself in a bad position by saying that, by saying those things? When, it's, when I know that it's, you know, counter- to what a platform wants. Why? Why should I do that? Why should I jeopardize my ability to reach hundreds of thousands of people? I'm, I mean, I don't do that, you know. On a, I am a small, small channel. But we're talking about concepts here. We're talking about principles. Some of these, these, you know, places. Hey, should somebody not be able to have a, a million, two million, three million viewers just because all they do is is eat weird stuff? What's wrong with that? It's their business, right? And you know those people, they are making gobs of money. Not that it's all about money. Some people do this for money. Some people don't. Whatever you do it for is right for you. Good for you. Don't slam other people for doing it different. Okay, That's what real freedom is all about. Is that I don't get to tell you what you have to do. You don't get to tell me what I have to do. I'm not going to tell you what you're doing is wrong. And, you know, you don't need to tell me that I'm, I'm, this isn't about me. Nobody's told me what I'm doing wrong here. It's just that I want to explain that I know a lot of people are upset at, and, and, at YouTube and why they shouldn't be. Simple as that. You know, there are other, if, if you want to express an opinion that um, you know is going to cause you a problem on this platform, why would you do it? I mean, you're, you're, you're going to keep yourself, you're going to remove that opportunity from yourself to say other things that might be very helpful to, to people. Um, you know, if you want to say things that are restricted, put together your own website. Yes, but then not as many people... Not as many people would watch my website. You know, YouTube has millions of... That's right. But it's not your platform. You're using a platform that was built by somebody else. You know? And, and, and for all the, you know, the rugged individualism and freedom and liberty and talk like that uh, that I hear from people, I don't understand all the people that are all upset about why they can't violate the rules of a platform that they that they've been able to use, you know, very very well for for a long time. So that's why I and I'm sure I'm sure I'm going to get I uh, I can't even imagine the comments I'm going to get on this, you know, but comments that are against this, you know. Don't be rude, don't cuss, don't t call anybody an idiot, things like that. If you want to express an opinion, what I would do, and this is this is another thing, uh, you know, people think that they have a right to come on to a channel 
and make any kind of comment that they want to? Why? Where, where did you get that right? Who gave you that? Why in the world do you think you have that right? Do you think you can go into somebody else's house and just act however you want to and disagree with them and start arguments with them and their guests? I mean, where does this kind of thinking come from? I don't know, but it's, but it's wrong thinking. And so, you know, if you, if you have a differing opinion, put it on your channel. Let everybody who comes to you say, well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to listen. I like this guy. I think he, you know, if you can build it up, good. So anyway, listen, YouTube is one of the greatest, and I'm not saying I am so small, they don't even know I exist. I'm not getting any points from YouTube over this, right? I'm trying to help you all. I really am. I'm trying to help you. It is the greatest learning tool that's ever come down the pike so far. It's also the greatest tool for anybody with a little phone to put out their opinions on pretty much anything, no matter how whacked out they are. And I mean, I've, you know, heard some wacky stuff. No matter how whacked out, they, as long as they stay within a few parameters that the people who own the business have set, why would you not do that? Why? Okay. It'll be interesting to see how many... Uh, wow, it's snowing out there. That is beautiful. It'll be interesting to see how many um, subscribers I lose over this. But you know what that tells me? That tells me these were not thinking people. And probably the ones that leave the crazy comments sometimes. Anyway, think about that. Think about that. Don't uh, don't get mad at somebody who who doesn't let you uh, you know violate your rules their their rules. Uh, I'll say one more thing. I, I used to run uh, mixed martial arts tournaments. Okay, we had a few rules, not many, as you can imagine. Mixed martial arts, we had a few rules. If somebody wanted to come in and but they didn't want to go by those rules, guess what? They couldn't they couldn't fight. I didn't let them. Simple as that. Okay. All right. Listen. Use this platform the way, the best you can. It opens you to all the information in the world. It lets you promote yourself, your business, your ideas to people around the world. When you're sleeping, people can, uh, can, can watch your video, buy your stuff, hear your ideas. I mean, what's better than that, right? So don't shoot yourself in the foot and don't get upset over this. If you want to do something better, create it. Start it. And uh, good luck, okay? Remember, we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And one of the most important things in preparing is understanding the reality of things, understanding how things really work. And you know, it, in preparedness, if, if you want to prepare, you know, but you don't want to stay within the, the parameters of real preparedness, you know, well, I want to prepare, but I don't want to have to stock food. <laughs> okay, okay. You want to prepare, but you, you, you won't go along with the basic requirements of it. Up to you. We prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. Use this platform to the best that it can be used for your benefit, because it can. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.